The smell of those leaves remind me when I used to have a garden when I was a kid. There's a very particular smell about the leaves of a tomato plant. I'm Ed Brown from New York City. I am the chef collaborator of Ed's Chowder House. But my style of food is more like being on this farm. Get a perfect seed, grow it into a perfect fruit or vegetable, don't do much to it, and it's gonna be great. Anything that is coming out of the ground or off the vine at that moment, I love. There's nothing that I don't like. We're out at the farm today uh, for a few reasons. The first was to come out and do an Earth to Table dinner. And Earth to Table is a concept that uh, Lee and I talked about a long time ago, and I'm happy to see it become a big part of the uh, Institute at CBI. Uh, it's also a chance for me to bring my second son, Harry, who's 11, out here, because his brother had been out here for a big trip uh, a few years back, so lots of great reasons to be back. Extremely impressive is that uh, while the preservation of what they've always done is still there, the expansion and the growth of technology and using of the resources that they have is just incredible. You know, the things that, you know, Pop Jones has invented, in fact, I said to Lee today, this guy's patented half the things that he's done, we're all gonna be rich from that. Uh, but he just, that's what he does, and he comes up with these ingenious things, and uh, you know, the whole family with Bobby and uh, Lee, continually turning and growing. It's not sort of just remaining the same. It's amazing to see the, the sustainability and the use of resources, the use of nature's own power to make things grow and survive and be better. It's always good to, it's like coming back home and the family receives you like you're part of the family here. And it's, you know, it's a nice thing. When I'm sitting in New York, and have somebody order product that's coming from here. I have a good sense of where it was growing and who was picking it and how it was uh, cultivated and that there's a lot of love and a lot of good being done to make that product get to me in New York. That's a good thing. People need to know about what's happening here. Uh, you know, America is not aware of, you know, this is what's supposed to happen. Uh, and it doesn't have to be done with chemicals and, you know, bad stuff. Slow grow is okay, it doesn't have to be rushed, and it can still be profitable. I love tomatoes. I love onion-based things, spring onions, green onions, uh, any type of onions, but I really love tomatoes. Yesterday they brought me a box of tomatoes picked from the field and just ate them, and the tomatoes are warm warm from the sun. I think it's the, the commitment from the family and the team here at Chef's Garden uh, just makes you feel good. Good, honest people doing very hard work producing tremendous ingredients makes you want to be part of it. You know, I encourage people to visit. It's important to see the process of what it takes to grow vegetables and bring them to harvest and get them to you. Uh, not only will you get the best stuff from Chef's Garden, but you'll have a great respect of what it takes for you know, this tomato to actually have started, grown, gotten to this point, get bigger, get ripe, get picked, get shipped and sent to you. You'll never just cut one in half and throw half away again. You're like, God, that took so much work and how much time that's taken. Uh, it just brings a whole new respect for product.